So um, I ran with 100% confidence in myself and in the ability that I have. So talk about three. I'm gonna take, talk about three different times you've been here. Okay. How, so how did you improve each time? So my 11th grade year, it was really just. I mean, not my 11th grade. My 9th grade year, um, it really was just getting the feel for being here, sleeping in a, in a hotel before a race, coming on the East Coast, our West, our yeah, Pacific Coast, and um, West, West Coast, and um, really just trying to adapt to all these new things that I've never experienced before, um, and getting in the race and just running how I how it was, and I got 11th, so that was really awesome. Um, and then I came here last year, had a little more experience with the race, um, went out and sort of stayed in the mix, and then moved up towards the second lap um, of the course and then um, after that I mean I got fourth that race and then this year I knew everything that I wanted to do I am stronger I am older I am now for, like um, I'm now representing the University of Colorado so um, all of that plays into what I did today so it's Cherry. all the past championships your third time on this course what did you do differently this time based on your experience from the last two times here hundred percent confidence in myself and my ability I went through and I, I visualized so many things and starting the race I knew that I can't hold back anymore that this is my time to just go out and really take charge and um, run my race so do you do anything that's Balboa specific back at home in New York that feels like a well, uh, you know a way to simulate the hill? We've got we've gotten plenty of hills and we we are just so tough and um, I feel like the way that I train and my coaches train me um, are very reflective to what I do here today. So I mean, and they've co they coached Ashton uh, as the cuff. So yeah. um, I'm sure that they have many workouts and certain things that they do. But um, it really just is how much work you, that you put in and how much you believe in yourself because that's what I did today. So being confident and being more fit. But as far as on the course, any particular part of the course that you felt was going to be key for you? Right over here by the tennis courts, going into the last um, hill loop, I knew that. What I had in my head the entire time was, if anybody made a move, stick, and you'll be able to do it on the bottom start of the course. So, I um, mean, another thing that I was thinking about was that I can pass people back. So if I'm with somebody, I can always make the move. So I really just took charge right at the bottom of the hill. So. Any problems at all in the race today for you? No. All went to plan pretty much. Yes. Did, did you have to look around at all? Did you look around or just focus? I am. Focused, but I really do try to enjoy the moment. So to be able to just look around and see my family um, and see everything that I've been seeing for four years now is um, something that I looked other than just straight focused. So and you said you you knew what you wanted to do. Was one of those things breaking the finish line tape? Oh yeah, <laughs> that was one of my, that was the only goal I had. Go well, not the only, but that was my main goal. And I knew that if I didn't think that way, then what was I doing here? So um, to be able to think that I wanted to win, that's exactly what I had in mind. So You mentioned some other goals as well, too. What are some of the other goals you had? Yeah, I mean, I always say to live in the moment and uh, really have fun with it. So I was smiling on the line, um, just trying to absorb everything that I could. Um, and then really just, I mean, enjoying everything. That's, that's the, the main piece. I apologize if anyone's asked this, but fast today and tactical. Yeah. Do you agree? Yes. Um, I knew that if I could just get out and have everybody not sit back and get ready to make a move, but if it was me taking the lead and really kind of separating it, um, I knew that I was going to be fine late in the race, and I don't know if other people were going to be, so I just kind of had to take the chance um, and follow my plan. Carrie, who did you see as your competition coming in, your biggest competition? I mean, I ran against Ellie in the regional, and I knew that, um, one, we were going to be able to work together. We were on the same team. So we were definitely going back and forth a little bit towards the second loop. Um, but. I really, I really, I said this before. I have so much confidence in myself. So <laughs> I knew that um, that this was going to be my race, and I said it yesterday 
one of my teammates, uh, Leah, we were running the course and I said, this is going to be awesome. Like I just, I felt it seriously in my heart that it was going to be really great. So. Was there a point late in the race where you thought, this is in the bag, I got this? Like, <laughs> bottom of the hill. Bottom of the hill. And oh, actually, the hill, yeah. bottom and the top because when I just, when I heard my coach and I heard my dad, all I did was just, I thought about, okay, 400 meters to go. I do this at practice all the time and um, with my training partner, Oliver. Um, and then I, I really just went for it. Like at the top of the hill, I knew I felt it in me. So Be Before that surge at the top of the hill, I mean, you tucked in behind Ellie. Was that sort of a, a concerted move? Like to sort of work off her shoulder and then make a move on her, on the hill? I mean, like I said, um, I I really did think that I have the ability to stay and then pass, um, and that's something I don't really get to do. I never really get to run with people, so um, just to be able to conserve before I, I wanted to make my move, I kind of just like shook it out. I let it go, and then once I once I was ready, I made it. So. In that race today, was everything perfect for you, or did something not go to plan? Everything was perfect. I mean, I set, I worked so hard to make it perfect, so that's just the way it works. Say again, what was your time goal? Um, just, I mean, so a couple of months ago, I'm gonna pull up the text. I text my mom. I was like, only eight, somewhere around eight girls have only broken six, uh, 17. So to be able to kind of think about that during the race. Um, I really, I did want to just compete and I, I didn't really know what my time was. I didn't look at the 800 split or the mile. I just, I knew that if I was competing, I was going to run a fast time, so. You didn't look at your splits. You didn't care what your time was. If I competed, I know I'm, I'm capable of running a really fast time, so. Who's your running idol? You um, Emma Coburn, uh, pretty much everybody here. Emma Coburn, Danny Jones, Corey McGee, um, every, like all those girls. So. I do want to ask about your dad was wearing a sweatshirt yesterday, 316. They're all wearing it right now. And I know it has a couple different meetings. It, it has strength, but also there's a little wrestling. Uh, WWE. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's Stone Cold Steve Austin. Um, and the back of the shirt says, because Carrie said so. so. Um, it, it shows a little bit of fight, and that was the main word that was in my head today, was fight. Nice so. job. Way to go. Thank you, Carrie. Thank I need you. you.